This unit is one of our fully powered stacker drum rotators. It's very universal. So this one unit can lift up the very small pails there, the mouths of plastics, the, the fiber drums, the steels, and even the big mousers. So it's very, very versatile. The drum is clamped between the head, and then we can lift and we can rotate. We also have power drive on the back end. So we drive it to the drum. So the clamping pads go either side and then we close the clamp, then we lift, in each arm here we have two rotational rams so when I press a button on the panel you can see the tip in action. There's a number of safety features. One of the safety features is, is once you've clamped the drum and you've lifted it, you cannot open again unless we put the drum close to the floor. So I'll show you now if I try and open the clamp. So we can't open the clamp. We have to lower down so the drum's close to the floor, nice and safe. Then we can unclamp. So as I say, it's a very versatile unit. We also make this unit as an air operated fully zoned and that's for ATEC zone one. We're now looking at the rear control panel. First thing is the tiller here. At the back here there's a key, we switch the key on. We have a battery condition meter here and that reads the percentage we have in the batteries. It's good to keep the batteries topped up, keeps them in better condition. Now with the tiller we have the auto reversing button here which touches your body changes the drive into forward direction if this touches you. Then you have the butterfly throttles here, you can see it here and here. So forwards, nice and gently, or backwards. Do this very gently until you get used to it. We have a horn mark there, and then we have a lift and lower control which is also repeated on the panel. So we can press lift or lower. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you the clamp control. So on this panel here, this yellow panel, we have a clamp button in the middle and two clamp release buttons. So the first thing to do is we drive into the drum, we can see the pads and then we press clamp. When we press clamp you'll notice this gauge goes up here. So the gauge goes up to clamp the drum and shows you you've actually clamped the drum. Then we can press lift. The drum will only rotate once the head is lifted past a certain point. So we can press tip or return. The unit has another inbuilt safety feature which doesn't allow you to unclamp the drum while it's in a raised position. So we'll show you this now. If I press unclamp, two buttons at the same time, this is not enabled. If we now lower down, press both at the same time, the drum is unclamped.